Hi, my name's Jamo from a company called Xcase. You can find us at www.xcase.co.uk. We're an importer of computer chassis, server chassis, and we also build server systems. So today I wanted to look at one of our favourite products. It's called the Xcase RM424 Pro. It's a 4U chassis with a 24 hot swap bays. And it's just had a couple of revision changes, so I thought I'd do a new video and just go over the whole chassis again. So just for reference, it's August 2015. And be, this will be the, the latest video until we make any changes. So, first of all, if we look at the front of the chassis, you've got these 24 hot swap bays. These remove, and then you can plonk in your 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drive. So, that's a good feature because you can mix up your hard drives. So, you can have 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives in different uh, caddies. If you look at the Supermicro option, you've then got to spend an extra £10 per caddy to have an adapter. So on the front here, we've got your power, you've got your reset, and LAN lights, hard drive activity, screws for mounting it on these ears on both sides. So I'll then go to the internals of the chassis. We've got these three 120mm fans. Now this is where some of the changes have been made. So I'll just remove one. In fact, I'll remove two. So you can see they're hot swap. The fans themselves are not like your standard desktop ones, much thicker. Push through a lot more airflow and they connect from this connection here to this which then connects to the back plane which then connects through this white wire directly to your motherboard uh, pin headers now you only actually need to use one and the other two are just so that you can keep tabs on the other fans if you've got IPMI. So what this does, this talks to the motherboard which talks to the back plane which talks to the fans and controls the speed that they go at. So if everything's running nice and cool with your processor, etc., then the fans will just go along at a nice, steady, low level. The back plane itself supports SGPIO, and it's got various lights to indicate problems. Before it used to be a blue and amber, but we've now incorporated a red uh, signal so that if a drive's faulty you get a clear red oops something's wrong it also flashes red if uh, the drive's rebuilding and you can lo locate a drive so you need six molex connections so if your power supply hasn't got six you'll need some splitters and as a couple of versions of this back plane. This is the standard one with six mini SAS connections, which will take 8087 cables directly in, which you can then go to your RAID card, or you can use a reverse breakout cable to go to your motherboard. There's also an optional uh, SAS expander back plane which then reduces the amount of uh, mini SAS ports you have here to three and 
it also means that the whole of the back plane and the drives can connect to something like a 4 port or 8 port card controlling all 24 drives. So it saves you in cables and it saves you in the cost of the controller card. However, if you've got controller cards, this is the cheaper option, so still the most popular. So internally, there's plenty of space for anything from an ITX motherboard all the way up to an extended uh, dual processor one. Its default setting for a power supply is a 2U redundant but if you don't want to have a 2U redundant this bracket comes out and there's various other brackets in the box so there's a standard ATX power supply bracket and there's a 2U single power supply bracket Also in the box of bits, just to explain it, you've got these two brackets here, which fit SSD drives or two and a half inch drives. They fit internally. Here and here. And then screwed in here and here from the outside to hold them in place. So if you need a couple of operating system drives, that's ideal. You've got space, if required, for two rear 60mm fans. And you've got seven full height expansion slots. Also in your box of bits, there's just a rear support bracket, which is that one. For a redundant power supply. There's another one for a different brand, so mostly ZPE Max or 3Y FSP. Screws for three and a half inch drives and two and a half inch drives. Motherboard standoffs. Stickers for the drive caddies so you can number them. So everything's in the box other than your components to build it. Chassis itself comes out at 60mm deep and we do an optional set of rails for it if you want to rack it in a cabinet. Now as we buy more and more of these we've managed to reduce the price so it comes in far less than, say, a Shembro or a Supermicro. And it really is of a decent quality. We get very few problems with these. So there you have it. If you're looking to build yourself a storage server, be it for your business or your home, then the X-Case RM424 Pro as said, one of our favourite products, and it really will serve you well. So, that's about it. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.